Nothing has come easy for the Toronto Blue Jays in the 2016 season. Having said that, the Blue Jays find themselves hosting the 2016 American League Wild Card Game. And looking back to yesterday, it looked like the Toronto Blue Jays weren't even going to make the playoffs. And now they find themselves hosting the Baltimore Orioles in Toronto. Now, to, to have this, um, the way we got to this point was Toronto had to have a huge um, final two games versus Boston, which they did. Um, their defense stepped up, guys like Josh Donaldson, um, Devin Travis, uh, their bullpen, Roberto Osuna was amazing. And if you, t if you told me that Aaron Sanchez was going to have a no-hitter going into the seventh inning um, today, I would have told you you were a liar. And, you know, um, coupled with that is the Yankees did the Blue Jays a favor beating Baltimore yesterday. And Atlanta, who, who's had an atrocious season, um, beat uh, Detroit two games in a row. And, you know... Now, now Toronto is going to face Baltimore, and this couldn't be scripted any better. Two American League, um, two American League East rivals. Um, teams don't like each other very much. Um, and, you know, it's going to be in Toronto, which is a tough place to play for, um, going to be a tough place to play for Baltimore. And, you know, for the Blue Jays, you know, it's the icing on the cake for a um, really up and down season. I know it's cliche to say that they've had a, a roller coaster season, but really when you when you look back to the Blue Jays off season, you know, you had unexpected unexpected managerial changes in the front office. Um you had uh star players demanding um contracts, like five year contracts Jose Batista wanted, um and said he wasn't gonna sign if he didn't get five years and over a hundred million dollars or whatever it was and and when Encarnacion saying if he wasn't signed by the end of the preseason, uh he wouldn't he wouldn't be back. And you know, the then first twenty five games from the Blue Jays under five hundred. Didn't really get on a roll until um the end of the first half in July there where they won like ten or eleven games straight and got themselves in the first place. And only to have what I would consider a mediocre August, followed by a horrible 11 and 16 September. On a four-game losing streak going into the final series um, of the of the season, blowing the first game, winning the last two. I mean, it's been a back and forth um, joust with um, consistency consistency for the Blue Jays, but they're finally looking like a team that could actually contend um, in the playoffs, finally. Um, you know, and for Baltimore, I mean, it's been a, somewhat of a similar season in a lot of ways. They ran away, um, you know, quite different in contrast from the Blue Jays. They ran away with the, the American League at the start of the season. Um, I believe they were 20 games above 500 at one point, only to, you know, just scrape into the playoffs as well. Um with the Blue Jays. Um, the Blue Jays did win the, the season series um, 10 games to 9, and that, that's why they're, that's part of the reason why they're, they're hosting, or a big part of the reason why they're hosting. And, you know, I'm not taking anything away from Baltimore, but I expect Toronto to win this game in dramatic fashion, possibly in extra innings. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if they come from behind, and, for Baltimore, you know, um, the Jays' um, projected starter is Francisco Liriano. Baltimore is going to need to jump all over him, and they're going to need to get a um, a good performance out of Ibaldo Jimenez, who's the uh, rumored starter for Baltimore. So I'm not saying Baltimore couldn't win this game. Um, I expect it to be tough for the for both teams, but. You know, I, I'm picking the Blue Jays at home, and I think everybody wants to see them move on and, and face Texas. So, um, I mean, you can really couldn't script that better. You know, Texas is going to want revenge for the bat, bat flip, and, and um, you know, maybe starting the series in Texas versus the Blue Jays would um, 
would yield a, a, a different result this year, but um, we'll all have to wait and see. I can't wait for the um, for the wild card game to start. I'm again, I'm picking uh, the Blue Jays to win in dramatic fashion, coming from behind, um, and you know, don't forget to give this video a, a thumbs up and comment down below. Tell me who you think is gonna win and and my MLB, my full MLB uh, playoff preview is, is coming up next, guys. So uh, be sure to um, give this video a like and subscribe. And um, tell me who, tell me how you think it's going to play out. Tell me what you thought about um, both seasons for the for the Jays and, and Baltimore. And stay tuned for my uh, MLB full playoff predictions. I'll see you in a minute.